What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new Valley of the Savage Run video. So this is episode 5 in our epic run with Valley of the Savage Run. This game is actually one of the hardest mobile games I think I've ever played. So my question is, can you beat these levels? Can you beat my attempts? Because the game actually logs your attempts. That's how insidious it is. And now we have got ourselves all the way up to the end of the desert levels. And then we are going to be moving on to the volcano levels too. So hit the like button guys if you want to see me complete the hardest game on mobile right now. If you want to catch the series so far, there is a link down below. You can actually try out the game as well. There is a link to download Valley of the Savage Run, get it onto your phone, see if you can beat me. All right, so let's do this. So you can see here, we're starting with our white character and uh, basically you have to jump on the other character's back to move through the platform. Now, it's very, very difficult. And as you can see here, we're already having trouble with this last desert level. It kind of takes us a lot of attempts here, so we're just going to rinse through them and get ourselves used to this. So you can see here we have to open up teleports for the other side, which is pretty difficult to do when there is a giant pink slug chasing you. Come on. Oh, no, we did it wrong again. So it's going to take us a few attempts here to get through this. And it's basically like memorizing. With Valley of the Savage Run, like I said, it's one of the hardest mobile games, and it's really about memorizing and about guessing the patterns correctly. Now, obviously, the fundamentals of the game are that you control two different characters, one that goes on black pieces, one on white pieces. And if you go back to the start of the series, you can see how much better I've got since the first episode because it is a super super difficult game oh, come on we can do this oh no not again <laughs> it's so difficult basically we need to use the white one to unlock the pieces for the other one so each side that you jump onto unlocks a piece for the other side and if you've managed to get to this level yourself in Valley of the Savage Run I'd love to know down in the comments how many attempts it takes you because we're struggling just to get past the first bit of the level here okay come on concentrate oh it's just that pressure when that slug's chasing you come on, we can do better than this though there we go, we're starting to unlock the pieces. Okay, so it looks like we need to go down the right-hand side, then the left, then the right, and probably alternate to be able to get it. There we go, there we go. Oh no, we went with the right piece. You see how tempting it is to do? When you're controlling the white character, it's so tempting to do. We almost got closer that time though. Come on, we can do this. Oh, there it is, guys. We were so close that we had to go forwards with the left piece to unlock the right-hand side. We're only getting 5%. Come on, we can do better than this. Right, this is the one, guys. This is the one. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, jump on the back. Alternate the pieces. Okay, okay. That's on the slug caught us, but I think we can do this. There we go, guys. We got the combination. Okay, now we need to switch to black. Okay, so what we did there was we tried to jump and we basically just switched to the wrong color. So now we know how to get past this bit. Hopefully, we can actually get to the next bit now. But if you have any tips or tricks for me, let me know down in the comments too, guys. You can see there we got stuck again. So uh, if you've been playing Valley of the Savage Run, if you've got any ideas on how to complete this level, it's going to be super difficult. And we haven't even got to the volcano levels yet as well. Oh, that was so annoying. Not again. Oh, we're just not getting our combinations right, guys. Okay, okay, we're going to keep trying. Persistence, persistence. Oh, not again. It's all about muscle memory as well. Like, look, we've already up to 46 attempts at this, guys. And uh, that is uh, pretty pitiful. I wonder how many it's going to take to actually complete the level. Hopefully, we can get through it a little bit quicker than this. Okay, here we go. Oh, so close. But yeah, this is actually a remake of an old game by No65 and a new to the App Store, of course. And then remember, guys, leave a like if you are enjoying this video. If you are enjoying my challenge of torturing myself, we finally managed to get to the next zone, though. The slug's coming. Come on, get over here. Look oh, look at that. Look at that vulture. Get onto the white pieces. We darted across. Okay, switching colors here. Switching colors as we teleport across. Oh! <gasps> No, no, he got to us, guys. 43% as well. 43%, 19 seconds there. That was the longest 19 seconds of my entire life. Okay, so it's not there's actually vultures circling, which goes over the pieces. So we're going to have to bear this in mind. But if we can just get this first bit on lock, if we can get through here cleanly every single time, then we're going to have a better chance. But once again, I'm struggling. It really is difficult when you're under time pressure. Like, if, obviously, if you could sit here and work it out, it would be no problem at all. But uh, right now, we're just struggling to get this muscle memory down. I think we're going to the left too quickly. So we need to kind of readjust here and uh, get this little combination down. And if you remember like old school games when you have to do the cheat codes, it's kind of similar to that, that you're tapping on the left and right of the screen. Oh, the slug just caught up to us. No, we're going to do better than this, guys. We're going to get through here. I have a feeling it actually gets a bit easier once we get through this initial section. Okay, yeah, we're through. No, the slug caught us again. We just got caught with the transition through the teleport. Okay, this time we're quicker. There we go. We transition, get through here, get through here. Okay, nice. Oh, no, 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 no. The rotating panels, we missed them, guys. All right, this time, we mean business now. We're not messing around. In okay, I spoke too soon. We're not messing around. We're going to try hard now. Come on. That's it. Into the black bit. Let's go. Oh, we should have gone. We should have gone, guys. We panicked. We panicked. The slug got to our back and we panicked. Okay, look, we're getting this early bit nice and easy now. It's definitely uh, like the muscle memory starting to come on a little bit here, guys. Get through. Next checkpoint. We just want to get to that first checkpoint and then we'll have a bit of a breather. Oh, the slug's coming. So close. 
Oh, no, we switched the wrong color. We had to switch quickly there, and obviously the pressure got to us. I know, I'd love to know what you think about Valley of the Savage one. Do you think this is indeed the hardest mobile game right now? And if it's not, I want to know down in the comments, what's the hardest game you've ever played on your mobile phone? Because uh, this definitely uh, is right up there, guys. A lot of skills needed, a lot of muscle memory. And as you can see, we are literally getting mincemeat made of us here. It switched through, changed the colors quick. Now we need to switch back to white, back to black. Then there is a checkpoint. Oh, no, it goes backwards. I was looking at the black piece at the top, but you can see there, when we went through that last checkpoint, we actually went downwards. So 43% again. We must get further than that. Come on, we can do it. Okay, nice. Quickly through that bit. The slug's far behind now. We can put some distance on him. Transition quick. Over we go. Black, then back to white. Black to black. Then we need to go back to white this time. Then we can get through here. Back to black. Come on, we're so close. Okay, nice. We went to the checkpoint. I didn't even care that the slug killed us there because we just wanted to get to that checkpoint. So now we can continue from here and hopefully this will give us a better chance. Wait. Oh no, I died before the checkpoint, guys. Oh my god, that's the biggest fail I think I've ever done in a game. I died before we gone across the checkpoint the second time. Oh, we're back to the beginning again. Okay, so we're gonna have to get this down. We're gonna have to get it locked down if you want any hope of passing this level. Come on, we can do this. Quickly through these pieces now, we need to put distance on the slug. I think that's one of the biggest tips I can give you guys is that uh, if you wanna get quickly through it, you need to be able to transition quickly through the colors, get away from the slug because when he catches up to you, then you're basically done for. Remember guys, if you are curious, if you wanna try out Valley of the Savage Run, there is a link in the description Try the game out. I bet you that you can't beat me. It's so difficult. And I want to know how many attempts it takes you to do the fourth desert level just like this. Because this is really, really, really hard work right now. It has to be said. It's so difficult. Okay, nice. We're through here nice and quick. To not mess around here, we need to go really, really fast. The slug is on our tail, guys. Transitioning colors. This is a difficult bit now. We can get back onto the white. We can get up to the checkpoint. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to the checkpoint. Okay. Okay, that is perfect. So now we just need to be really careful in getting onto the white character's back. And then we can run across the checkpoint. There it is again. Okay. Quick transition of colors, though. Slug's going around the outside, guys. We're going to have to go up the left here. Oh, we made it through. Back to white. Back to black. Come on. Oh, no. We made the wrong move. We actually had it there. We had the distance on the slug as well. That was all my fault. Okay. Struggling with this checkpoint because we have to be careful. We don't up here and we don't go behind our checkpoint all right colors changing slugs on the right hand side can we get through here oh that was so close that was squeaky oh no made a mistake there look at the bones around as well i'm assuming these are other animals that have tried to take the valley of the savage run they probably can't make it through either when there's a giant slugs and vultures after you right, here we go nice and slow take your time take your time you don't need to rush and we just got through there oh this is close though guys okay we're, we're being better here we're being better here back to black back to white come on we can do this no <gasps> That was close. All the way through. Yes, onto the white. Yes, we did it, guys. We did it. Finally, we did it. 94 attempts only. Uh, that's uh, pretty embarrassing, it has to be said. And we are through to the volcano levels. Can you believe it, guys? That was pretty scary. And uh, we're not even going to give this a chance right now because uh, we're just going to relish in our victory here. We managed to beat 2.4 desert. And uh, that's absolutely amazing, guys. I can't believe we managed to do it. The fourth desert level. So, so difficult there. And uh, that's going to be the end of Valley of the Savage Run for this video, guys. But in the next episode, we're going to be tackling the tricky volcano. We're going to try and do it and see if we can complete the game. It's going to be absolutely insane. Remember to hit the like button. If you did enjoy this video, can you beat my 94 attempts at the fourth desert level? Drop me a comment right now. Let me know on that one. Hit the subscribe button for more videos and I'll catch you soon for more Valley of the Savage 1 gameplay.